I always felt that I wanted to work in a clinical career, um, but life hadn't taken me that way. And um, I ended up sharing a house with a midwife uh, many years ago. And I'd never really heard anybody talk about their job with a real passion, um, like, a, like a vocation really. And they just got me interested. I started to read up about it and I made contact with a couple of midwives to find out what the job really entailed. And then I went to the open day and that's when I decided I'd put an application in. It's something I thought about for a long time. I did my A-levels and one of my A-levels was biology and I really wanted to apply it. And My brother studied medicine and I was in the hospital environment anyway, so my managers were all nurse managers. I was the administrator on the dialysis unit and they said, you're very good at what you do, but you really need to be on the other side. So they really encouraged me and then they sponsored me to do it. When I was a kid, I was in St John Ambulance. Um, that's, I mean, being that young, it probably did influence strongly what I want to do later on in life. Um, I've always been interested in like uh, scientific and humanities-based uh, subjects, and I took a few to uh, college. Um, so that, with what I like to think is my natural personality combined, uh, was what I think uh, started me into nursing perfectly. Basically, I enjoy caring for people, and because um, my mum's a nurse, she sort of gave me like um, insight into it. It's something I've wanted to do since I was about 14, and uh, my sister-in-law was training and used to come and do homework at my house <laughs> once I was growing up. Um, did other things, I was accepted at 18 but never took it up for various family reasons, and assumed I'd miss the boat being a little bit more mature now, but as it turns out, no I haven't, so I decided with a good few working years left, I've got something I fancy doing. I'm a people person, I like people, I like science. I've, the mixture of the two, blending science with people and say, well, how, you, how can you make things better for people? Um, along with the fact that my sister-in-law is still a nurse, so it is a sort of lifelong career. I'm still interested in what she does. It's all quite interesting. I think, well, and then a friend of mine is actually a nurse tutor and it was her saying, well, why don't you go for it? You know, you've got 20 years left. As it turns out, she was quite right. You know, they, they want me. I've been working with people with learning disabilities for like the last three and a half, four years and I'm a senior support worker and I've done as much as I can as a support worker. I wanted to get into the nursing field and that's, that's what interested me in, in doing this. When I was doing my A-levels, um, in my first interview with my tutor, she, we did a quiz on connections and she actually told me that I should go into a caring profession, um, either nursing or working care homes and looking after people basically, or she said I'd be good as a teacher. So she said I had good people skills and that I should work with either vulnerable adults or young children. So I took this quiz and then after my A-levels I just decided to apply for it. And luckily when I came and when I started, I found out that it was what I wanted to do. It wasn't anything that I'd ever thought about. I'm 28 now, I was 26 when I started. And I was made redundant from a very well-paid job. And I got a job working for a charity, working with people with mental health problems. And then it just took on a life of its own, really. I, I didn't realise how easy it was to apply for the course, you see. And I thought that I would need to do extra training, but it was, it was fine. I felt I had the core skills of becoming a nurse. I was a good communicator, I was a good observer, listener, and I love people. I have a passion um, to liaise with people. Um, I had a lot of life experiences as well on the way, um, and I wanted, I wanted to have an impact on people's lives. Therefore, I chose my nursing profession um, as, a, as a mature student later on in life. I actually had a place to do English literature at university um, and I sat around my kitchen table with my mum and I was like, what am I going to do with my life <laughs> with an English degree? I know there's lots you can do, but... Um, and my auntie is um, a midwife and I was like, oh, I'll go and do that. Um, and was supposed to go and do that. I had a place to go and do that on the condition that I got a D for a biology A-level in my year out, but I went to Australia instead. So I didn't do the exam, so I got a U. Um, so I had to go through clearing um, and I thought well I might as well just go and be a nurse then and that was how I decided to be a nurse which was probably one of, I don't know, it's a bit of a risky decision to make I suppose and I was fine until I went on my first placement and I thought oh no what if I hate it or what if I'm rubbish and I loved it so it was fine.
it was a good a good whim decision in the end. Fifteen years ago, I did a first aid course through my job, and when I'd done the course, I thought, well, you know, I really kind of enjoyed the involvement, and I thought maybe I could be a a paramedic or so at some time in my life. Whilst I was between jobs, I got so I got a job in as a support worker, and I was doing it for about eighteen months before I started the course, and that kind of gave me an insight into it. And I suppose if I if it wasn't going to be for me, it would have been then would it. Um, kind of struck home really, I had to have another think about it. I've been working in healthcare since I was um, 18. I am actually um, a qualified occupational therapist, which I've done for 20 years. However, I enjoyed my training, I enjoyed working as an occupational therapist, but probably when I actually went on to have my own children, I realised that actually midwifery was where I really wanted to be. So um, I went away, found about a lot more about it, did some more study and uh, reapplied and now started my course.